Okay, welcome back to Golden Sun The Lost Age. We are here in Champa, but we're not going to be here for long because there's not much going on right now. We're just going to explore around town and uh, figure some things out and then we'll head back out to sea again. Okay. The Champa sailors who don't live in the cliffs are no better than cowards. The ones in the caves will protect Griggs and Obaba without a second thought. If you live up on the cliffs, that means you've proven that you can travel far across the seas. If you call yourself a sailor without ever going anywhere, you're not worthy of the title. Dang! I bet you're wondering why only sailors and families get to live in the cliff dwellings. But from up here on the cliffs, families can look out to sea and await the return of their sailors. Staying here, staying across the sea from these cliffs, makes me feel like I'm I'm helping our sailors. That's interesting. Before he left, Briggs ordered me to keep watch in his absence. If Bob is so worried about Briggs, she ought to send someone out to look for him. Briggs may be our captain, but at least he's he's not all full of himself. I hate people like that. Nah, eh, nothing in there. My husband wants our children to be sailors like him, but I still won't have it. When I married sailor, I knew how cruel the sea could be. I can't stop my husband from sailing, but I don't want our children to follow that path. Someday I want to be a sailor just like my, like my father, before me. My mother hates the idea, though. She would have me have me study and become a scholar or something. Has mom forgotten that I am her, my father's son? If she knew anything about me, she'd never ask me to give up the sailor's life. Mom's had pretty rough. I hope I meet a sailor in the future, so I don't have to work so hard. Elliot is the only boy in town who will amount to anything. He will be mine. Obaba's not seeing Amon right now. She's concerned about her grandson and she doesn't want to be bothered. I've never seen Obaba like this before. She has to really worry about Briggs. Has my grandson returned? Has my Briggs come home? No. I asked not to be disturbed when my grandson has returned home. Now let me be. What the heck is up here? That that pit is Obaba's forge. She uses it when she's working with metal and the weapons and equipment. I wonder how deep this forge goes. It's supposed to reach the right in the mountain's heart. Obaba must be a master of the forge if she's the only who can call up its flames. I see you've caught with me again, Felix. Alex. Alex? Who is Alex? Alex is a war adept. We have been traveling together, but he left us when we landed on Indra. A war adept? Ah, and I see you've ma made a new friend. You have been busy, haven't you? And you found yourself a war new war adept. Do you mean to cast me away like old trash? And what do you want with us now, Alex? Or do you forget that you have abandoned us? My dear Jenna, have you come to despise me so after all we've been through? Duh! You're the one who left us. It's pretty clear who despises whom here. My, are we a big bunch? And I was just trying to help you with your little task. We have no need of your help. We can light the house without you. Oh, can you really? Karst. That's right, Karst. I'm glad that you remember. What is this, Alex? What's going on? Uh, how can I explain this? What's going on is Alex is demonstrating his remarkable foresight once again. Oh, have you had the pleasure of an introduction? He stayed back at the ship when I saw the Madra. 
I am a Geishio. Let's see, that guy is Felix, and the girls are Jen and Shiba, which makes him Creighton. They look like an unrivaled bunch of ragamuffins. Yes, they are rather useless, aren't they? That's why I finally had to abandon them, of course. But now, I believe I may have been hasty in my judgment. You are peers? How do you know my name? How soon they forget, we met you before, when you were being detained. Who could forget the amateur ad changing water to ice in that strange little town? Ah, you saw that. That must be how you knew Piers was a war adept. In fact, I was even thinking of borrowing his ship at one point. He would steal someone else's boat? That's so typical, Alex. You woo me, Jenna. I only meant to borrow it. Wherever you might have meant, that doesn't make it right. And just when I was about to seize the opportunity, you had to come back. You mean from Kibambo? I was mere moments too late. Isn't, isn't that a shame? Still, because of that, I didn't meet Karstigeshio, so perhaps it was my fate. Can't you just stop talking about yourself for one second, Alex? Not for your childish jibes. Alex, I want to know what makes these punks useful. Because they brought us the orb that Akafubu had taken, that shows some resourcefulness. How so? The Kebab are quite warlike, or were at any rate. Recovering the orb was most likely not easy. They are typical villagers, easily frightened with a small display of synergy. No, they would have been they would use less abrupt methods than those you favor. Oh, what methods would those be? Alex said clearly enough, we wouldn't terrorize people into doing what we wanted. You know how this. Stop changing the subject. When are you gonna light the remaining lighthouses? Yes, our page is beginning to wear thin. If you waste much more of our time, we'll take those Elemental Stars and do it ourselves. If we had Winnie App like Shiba and the Elemental Stars, we wouldn't need you. Excuse me? I am, of course, opposed to their line of thinking. My experiences with Setchos Minari would suggest that, while they are fierce warriors, they are somewhat lacking when it comes to solving the mysteries of the lighthouses. You mean to say that they would fail to solve the riddles? Miserably. Are you suggesting that they were simple, simple brutes incapable of logic and intelligence? Are you saying that the same of us? I'm afraid so. Alex, whose side are you on? I'm on no one's side. My only concern is to see lighthouses the lighthouse begins lit once again. So you mean to leave the task to Felix? Then why ha have we come all this way looking for Felix? I may want to confirm that he and his companions had not forgotten their quest. Is that really truly all? I also want to use Felix to two of you. Why would you want to do that? When Satoshi's been already gone, you probably felt very little pressure to complete your task. I cannot have that. What do you mean by that? When Satoshi's been already gone, I felt another pair might, how should I put this, provide you with the proper incentive to complete your task. Is this some kind of threat? Take it as you wish. I just wanted to provide you with the proper encouragement. So what? You've used us to your satisfaction, and now our role is done? You may want us around to flex a little muscle and scare them into action? Fine. I suppose we'll let you go today. We will always be nearby, pushing you to make your way to Jupiter Lyle swiftly. I look forward to seeing you soon, Felix. Somewhere very near Jupiter Lighthouse. Crane, am I right in recalling that you, are per you per pursue this quest on the behalf of Toby's ruler, Bobby? That is, this is true. I'm studying alchemy because Lord Bobby has ordered it. What about it? Ah, uh, what a pity. It would seem all your studies have been for naught. What are you getting at, Alex? Only that it seems your Lord Bobby has at least at last succumbed to the ravages of time. Lord Bobby is dead? Oh, so you didn't know? Lord Bobby dead? Could that really be true? Alex, how would you know such a thing? Don't mistake me, we had no hand in Pat Bad Body's passing. However, the people of Toby may, may, may be under the impression that our, presume, our presence led to his death. Alex, I'll cut the melodrama and get the point for a change. Simply put, 
I recommend against trying to north gun down for a while. I just thought it might be better if that you focus on your quest instead of exp exploration for now. How kind of you. Take it as you will. Very well. Maybe meet again. So the only reason Alex came here was to threaten us? And to bring us news of Bobby's death, despite the fact that we asked for no such news. Perhaps he has his own reasons for telling Creighton. What do you mean, Piers? If Creighton undertook this quest on behalf of Bobby, then he no longer has any need... Oh, of course. I hadn't thought of that. You're always to find Lemire, right, Creighton? That's right, but if Bobby really has died, you're free to go where you will, Creighton. That's not true, Sheba. So my, certainly, my original reason for researching alchemy was still for Lord Bobby. Was for Lord Bobby? That's your pa that's the past tense. What are your reasons now? This is no longer solely for research. I I do this because of what I've learned on this quest. Your research? What you learned in this quest? I'm not fine at all. I don't understand a word of this. Of course you don't. Fix the only one I've spoken to any of this about to about. As Felix is the only one I've spoken to about any of this. What? You knew? That's not fair. Tell us. Yes. <laughs> Please, Felix. Let's not say too much about it just yet. I'm... It's far too complicated. Well, when will you tell us? I, I am sure when we will tell you once we get to Lemuria. Do you promise? I promise. Piers, you don't mind waiting? I can't read minds like Shiva, but I have a guess as what you're th to what you're thinking. I guess? What do you mean? You're a great scholar, Crane, are you not? I believe your theory is correct, and to prove it, I want to return to Lumeria as soon as possible. Huh, that was interesting. So, <laughs> a lot more happened in this episode than, we thought would ha than I thought. So on our way out of Champa, we ran to... Everybody, pretty much. What's up here? Oh, this must be Ankle Ruins. Yeah, can we go in here? I can't really full explore it to, to, uh, in this episode, but we will wander around and see if we can figure something out. It's because Angle Ruins has already been plundered by <laughs> everyone who's uh, uh, in, in Champa because they, they, they need all the money they can get. I forgot to undo her curse. Ow! They're gonna kill me. Okay, I think we're gonna call it quits in this episode of Golden Sun Lost Age, and in the next episode we will continue Ankle Ruins. Until then, this is Jane Raymond, signing out.